few final things and you'll be done. Check the NOTAM section. Company NOTAMs pertinent to your destinations are highlighted. Export to ForeFlight if desired. Use caution. If your route contains company user waypoints that are not in your ForeFlight application, then those waypoints will not be included in the route that displays in ForeFlight. To ensure all your company user waypoints are in ForeFlight, FlightSpanOps has a feature that allows you to export your company's user waypoints to a file formatted for import into ForeFlight. Export to ForeFlight by tapping the ForeFlight button. If you choose Active, the altitude and route for the highlighted leg will be imported. If you choose All, the entire route will be imported, but due to ForeFlight limitations, the altitude from leg 1 will be applied to all legs. Neither wind nor fuel calculations will be imported in either case. Return to FlightSpan by switching apps in the usual way or by tapping in the upper left corner. Complete your flight plan by tapping Flight Plan. FlightSpan will ask for your departure time, defaulting to 30 minutes from now. You can change your departure time or expected average time on the ground using their respective buttons. Individual leg ground times can be edited by tapping on the hyperlinked ground times, and you can change the flight rules from the company default settings as well. Print or email your flight plan in the desired format. The basic flight plan is intended for internal company use. The IKO flight plan may be used for filing. The operational flight plan puts key flight information at the pilot's fingertips during the flight. And the journey log may be used by the pilot to document the flight progress. Both may be used to fulfill regulatory requirements for operational flight plans and journey logs if required. Note that to email your flight plan, Apple Mail must be set up on the iPad. That's it. Your route, altitude, and fuel planning are complete, and you're ready to move on to weight and balance.